Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here and welcome back to the second episode of the France International Career Mode. Another career mode video on the channel today. We are back with the French boys and we're on to the knockout rounds of the 2022 Qatar World Cup. Trying to win back-to-back -back World Cups with the France national team. We're in the round of 16 in the last episode. We qualified for the knockout rounds. Finishing first in our group. These are the round of 16 games. If you need reminding, it's big games such as Portugal and Brazil. England taking on South Africa. Italy versus Denmark. Germany versus Uruguay. Netherlands versus Colombia. Spain taking on the Ivory Coast. And Argentina hosts Finland. So very interesting round of 16 knockout games there. We are taking on Russia. And this is our squad going into the game. But before... We get into the game. We are addressing your comments down below. And we have Sir... Let me get up the comment. MJ Josephs. He literally listed every single player in this team. I asked what numbers you guys want to change. He literally uh, changed every single number in this team. He gave an in-depth list uh, on how the numbers should be. So his comment's going to be on screen. I literally changed it all off camera just so you guys didn't have to see it. But all the numbers are pretty accurate to the uh, French national team. They were a bit different in this FIFA 19 career mode, but now it is fully authentic uh, towards the real life French national team. All the numbers fixed, and we're gonna continue on in the video. And our lineup going into this Russia game, it is Griezmann up top, Martial, Ayor, and Mbappe. Ndombele is replacing Kante in the central midfield. Pogba is right beside him, and the back four is Hernandez, Laporte, Lenglet, and Pavard. Lafont is in goal. I feel like we should go ahead and simulate this game against the French, uh, against the Russians. Sorry, host of the previous World Cup. We are on the home side, so it should be easier to go ahead and simulate. I feel like Russia, we should be able to deal with uh, in this round of 16 game, even though they do have a pretty strong team. Griezmann goes off injured. Hopefully, it's not a big injury, but Martial literally scored the same minute. So, I'm not sure what happened there with the boys, but Mbappe gets on the score sheet to make it 2-0. I'm just worried about this Griezmann injury because... We don't have that many strikers in this team. Pogba makes it 3-0. I'm not really worried about the result anymore. It ends up being 4-0. St. Maximin gets on the score sheet after he comes off, off the bench. But uh, this Griezmann injury, it looks like it's going to be a big one. It's got the uh, ambulance next to him. The ambulance icon usually means that it's a long-term injury. Let's see. I mean, he's probably going to be out for the rest of the competition. Griezmann, no. We've started off this episode with a good result, but uh, just a poor injury, man. And I don't think it's as, as bad as I thought it would be. Griezmann is out for 10 days with a pulled calf. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to step up and be in his position. But after that 4-0 win, it's only 10 days. So he might be back if we qualify for the semi-final and final maybe. So we'll see how Griezmann can return back into this team. And here we have it, the quarterfinals of the 2022 World Cup. We are taking on South American giants, Brazil. England are versing Italy. Germany are facing the Netherlands. And Spain are taking on Argentina. That is a blockbuster quarterfinal session. Everyone, every game is an absolute blockbuster there. What, what result? Let's see the results. Hold on. Round of 16, of course, we won 4-0. Brazil took out Portugal with a 1-0 victory. England won 4-0 comfortably. Italy won 2-0 comfortably. Germany knocked out Uruguay. Netherlands knocked out Colombia. Spain knocked out the Ivory Coast 4-1. And Argentina knocked out Finland 4-1. And there, there we have it, the quarterfinals. So we're definitely going to play this one against Brazil. And so we've changed the lineup just a little bit. You, a lot of you guys wanted to play Dembele on that right-hand side. So we've got Dembele starting on the right, Mbappe switched to a striker. Becky is going to be the center attacking midfielder, midfielder as Martial is the left winger. Pogba and Ndombele are going to be that midfield partnership. And the original back four of Hernandez, Umtiti, Varane and Pavard have made their return as well as Lafont in net. We're at the business end of the tournament now. It's quarterfinal time. We have to step up against Brazil. Let's see what they've got. So it doesn't get any bigger than this World Cup 2022 quarterfinal against Brazil. It's going to be a massive game for us and hopefully we can uh, qualify for the semi-finals. But Brazil are standing in our way. Marquinhos, Edison, Neymar, Danilo. So many good players in their team. Gabriel Jesus. This is a tournament tree so far. 
for the World Cup. If we win, we'll be facing either England or Italy in the semi-final. And the national anthems play the French boys looking up for the task here. A big semi-final. Hopefully they can do their country proud tonight and win a massive game for them. And of course, you guys wanted him. Dembele is starting the number 11. He hopefully should have a big game against Brazil and lead us to victory. And we're underway here in the quarterfinal. Let's do this, boys. Allez les bleus. Martial puts it through to Nabi Fakir. He surely can see Mbappe, but he's going to go for it himself. Mbappe was there. And we rushed it and it ended up being an untimed finish from the Frenchman. Let's pass. Now Bufaki surely can find him. He slots the ball through to Kylian Mbappe. He sees the keeper out. And Edison catches comfortably. We we're trying to catch him off guard there, but he returned to the spot well. No, 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 no. We've lost the ball here. Gabriel Jesus is through on goal. He's got options in the middle as well. He's going to go through it himself. No, he's going to lay it off. Oh my gosh, that could have been a goal conceded. But Brazil still have the ball here. We haven't cleared it properly as Militao is on the end of it. Can, what can Brazil do with it here? Tellers trying to look for the ball to the left-hand side. Neymar still on it. Tellers gets a ball in. And we have survived the bullet there. Brazil, beautiful build-up play. And they've nearly gotten the opener there. Lafont was good to come out and he made a really big save there, made himself look big and Brazil still have the ball here, we're unable to clear yet again, Paul Pogba, can he stop Arthur, he does, Fecky loses the ball and it's straight back to Brazil as Neymar, he's going to take a shot here and that's a goal for Neymar Jr in Brazil, he puts his country in the lead and they're up here in the quarterfinal, Neymar, we couldn't get the ball clear, we won the ball back, we lost it and then we gave it away again and Neymar made the most of it, he powers it into the bottom right hand corner, we go 1-0 down here in this quarterfinal. Can we get ourselves back into this game? That is the big question. Pogba. He's found the runner here. Nabu Fakir. Nabu Fakir. He's beat his man. Nabu Fakir has made a shot. And that is a goal. What a weird goal it was. But we've gotten the equaliser. Nonetheless, Nabu Fakir did a bit of work there to find his way in the box. It was a beautiful ball in. And Nabu Fakir somehow got through that. And it was Anthony Martial to get the rebound there. I, I need to replay. I need to watch that goal back again because I have no idea what on earth happened. I just needed to get the equalizer there. Nabu Fakir somehow fought off the Brazilian defender. It was um, deflected in from a Brazilian player through to the path of Anthony Martial. And he adjusted his body right in time. And it was ended up being Edison parrying the ball into his own net. Martial getting the equalizer. Surely that's his goal. And we are back on level terms here with Brazil. And that is half time, guys. We are level pegging with Brazil here. It's 1-1. One, one. We've got a big 45 minutes coming up next in the second half to see who will go through to the semi-finals of the World Cup in 2022. And we're underway here in the second half. Arthur, is he going to take a shot? Yes, he does. And what a save from Alban Lafont. He's made a really good save there and has kept it at 1-1. Are you kidding me? What has just happened there? What? I can't even... I don't even know. That Gabriel Jesus has somehow ended it... Put it in the back of the net. But what has even transpired there in the box? Obviously, Brazil crossed it in. I wasn't even talking because I thought we cleared it. And what? No way. No way. Did that not take... Did that take a deflection? It didn't. Albert Lafont literally moved out the way. <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? That is hilarious. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. I'm instant replaying that. That is hilarious. Let's let's have a look at this again. What? No way. If that took a deflection. Oh my god. That's so bad. FIFA 19, what is this game? You're kidding. You're joking. That is an absolute joke. That is daylight robbery at the high, of the highest order. We've cleared it out. Gabriel Jesus, it took a bounce. Alban Lafont's like, yeah, nah, you can have a goal there, mate. Don't worry about that. Just move to the side. It's all good, man. What a goalkeeper, Alban Lafont, mate. That is possibly one of the m worst goalkeeping mistakes I have ever witnessed. That is the complete opposite of what a goalkeeper should do. 
<laughs> I still can't believe this has happened right now. What what is this new patch done to the game? Anyway, boys, we continue on. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Thomas Lamar is going to be replacing Nabu Fakir uh, in the center attack and midfield spot. Hopefully getting a spark in our attack and scoring a few goals. And that's a penalty. When you thought it couldn't get any worse, we concede a penalty. It's another soft one. No cards, nothing from the ref. And we've conceded a penalty. We could be headed out of the World Cup right now with this French squad. And that is, yeah, it's soft. It's a late challenge from... Tangui and Dombele, but what can you do? It's Gabriel Jesus. Is he going to finish us off here? Or is LaFont going to make up for his mistake? He has. He's kept us in this game. Is that going to make up for his mistake? I'm not sure yet, as we can get a counter-attack here. Pogba on the end of it. We lose it. Gabriel Jesus takes a shot, and it comes off the upright. Coutinho still in the box here. It's Lucas Paqueta. He's found Gabriel Jesus, and that is it for us. World Cup is over. Gabriel Jesus makes it 3-1. It was coming from the Brazilians. They're putting on the pressure. And we look like we're the world champions are going to be knocked out here. It was a beautiful piece of play. Lafont again, somehow, just doesn't save it. He just watches it go in and he flaps his arms at it. Typical goalkeeping in FIFA 19. But what can you do? Let's see if we can get a consolation goal or two. Lucas Paqueta, and that's going to be a penalty to wrap things off. I just slid in there out of frustration. It's the 91st minute. There's no way we can come back in this. Ben Pavard is going to finish off his World Cup with a red card to his name. And Fabinho might make it 4, and he does. The Brazilian makes it 4-1 to Brazil, and we're heading home. We're not going to get double... Uh, we're not going to make a back-to-back -back, uh, World Cups for the French. They made it all the way to the quarterfinals. But, unfortunately for us, a LaFont mistake cost us the rest of the game. And we're out of the World Cup here to the hands of Brazil in the quarterfinals. And it's 4-1. And that is going to be it, guys. We have failed here with France to win back-to-back -back World Cups. Yeah, let me know what you think about that mistake in the comments below by LaFont. But... If you did, go ahead and enjoy this series. Or if you want me to try this again with France and try to win the World Cup again. But, of course, it's mission failed. We took the champion's curse of getting out the group. Uh, we did that, but unfortunately, we couldn't get past the quarterfinals at the hands of Brazil. You know what countries I should do next in the international career modes. And, yeah, guys, let me know if you enjoyed that episode. I certainly didn't in this game. But, uh, yeah, comment down below what I should do next. And yeah, guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, smack a like on it. Subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode content coming at you guys in the future. And yeah, guys, hope you did enjoy the series. Should we go to the 2026 World Cup with this team? Let me know down in the comments below what I should do with this career mode save with France or what I should do with a new career mode save in the comments down below. And Brazil ended up going all the way through to the final only to lose to the hands of Spain. So I guess uh, the Brazilians weren't good enough in the World Cup final. But third place ended up going to Italy winning 4-3 against Germany on penalties. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been BCHD. See you on the very next video.